From our racing's virtual Chicago street course, we say good evening, Sim Racing fans, and welcome to race 12 of the 2024 eNASCAR Coca Cola iRacing Series. Well, it is not time to pay points. It is time for the sprint race. 15 laps on deck with Parker White in control. Green flag in the air. Shot of White. They're going to drag race through the right hand kink in turn number three into a tricky 4 5 complex. Trouble in the back of the field. Several cars involved in it will continue on going as up front Zelensky clear for P1. As back here in traffic, there is no settling down. This is all by that big sweeper turns eight, nine, and 10, middle of the field. They're all chasing down the lead car in this pack. I'd call that Jimmy Mullis and Colin Keister who smokes the brakes and misses that turn entirely. Keister off in turn 11. Matt Musa getting right along with one of those drivers that's on the Navy Pier. We saw the damage for Garrett Maines as he kind of gets out of the way. He went a lap, a lap down and was involved in that incident earlier, so. Uh, again, has a long 30 laps ahead of him is Matt Fusa going to try to make this move to get by Keegan Leahy, one of the better road course drivers we have in this series. Oh, it's getting close there up front, though. Two to go. You just mentioned that, well, maybe we wouldn't see a pass, but here comes Parker White, again, hounding the back bumper of Bobby Zielinski. And again, if you're Parker White, got to be smart here. You definitely want that top spot going into the race as we take the white flag uh, in this sprint race. You don't want to throw it all away here. You still have Steven Wilson right behind you. You want a front row starting spot. So yes, it would be nice to be the control car in that scenario, but if you're Parker White, don't want to throw it all away here. You want to try to make a move to win the sprint race, but again, you got to think big picture here. Bobby Zielinski, he's in the playoffs. So is Steven Wilson. Parker White needs a win to be in that same position here. So you got to think big picture. He may make a move for the win, uh, but I would wait to get physical uh, when all the points and all the money is being paid out at the end of this thing. And up front, the defending Chicago Street Course winner get a fine victory in the sprint race. It starts with Zelensky. Happy to have you with us. Tune it in from home and also tune it in live from the Navy Pier for NASCAR Fan Fest. Pace car down and in. Bobby Zelensky in control. Let's go racing at Chicago. Three wide, already an advantage to White on the outside. How do they fit into turn one? Three wide for fifth place on back. Small advantage for Zelensky as he tries to clear Parker White in turn two. He can't shake him. More battling further back in the pack. You can see three wide as Malik Ray tries to make some spots up, but Parker White has the advantage here heading into turn four, a long sweeping right-hander with a lot of speed. This is a really tough part of the track to go side by side in. They somehow make it work. Zelensky, if he can hang on the quarter panel, can try to make this move, but Steven Wilson's gonna have a run if they go into this corner side by side, heading into turn six, 90 degree left-hander. Now Zelensky, the preferred line, he gets the launch and he'll have the race lead for now. Zelensky had to survive being on the outside for turns two, three and four and it finally paid off as they came down to turn number six as he was able to shake off a valiant effort from the challenger Parker White amongst the battle for the race lead Zelensky and White much like they did at about this same point in the sprint have started to pull away from Stephen Wilson and separate themselves a little bit from the driver in third Wilson about a second and a half back you can see him there still well within striking distance but Parker White much to our uh, prediction, has not left the rear deck lid of Bobby Zelensky's car. These two have been glued together for the entirety of this race. $500,000 worth of cash prizes on the line. And we are getting down to the end of the season as deep into the corner there. What oh, a drive man. in from the 48 car. Almost missing it entirely was Graham Bolin. Wowed it up in time. Falkenham crosses back, and they are all over each other in a battle for eighth on back. This is not a part of the track you want to go side by side in as Falkenham almost gets shoved into the wall. Cozy's going to be able to hang on to his position. Graham Bolin gets the better end of it. This is a really tight section to be going in side by side. They're able to make it out. Falkenham gets a little bit of a tag there from Lopez, uh, but Cozy right now just 
trying to stop the bleeding at this point and to hang on to every position he can. Now Tucker Minter's going to look down to the inside of Garrett Lowe, who's fallen back a couple of positions. He's going to try to get up into the 11th spot. Meanwhile, Parker White still, it's been about three tenths or so. And these two drivers have just been locked together through these 13 laps or so. Okay. Between Jordy Lopez and Daniel Falkenham. Lopez in the 90, Falkenham in the 54, the 54, the green car on the outside, a battle for P9. As they came back off the front stretch, this is the run from turn six down to turn number seven, which has been a calamity corner for many because of the tires on the left-hand side. And from behind, the touch there to Falkenham got that car out of shape. And then uh, again, we saw this kind of stack up a couple laps ago and we watched it live. That allowed Lopez to scoot away for the number nine spot and has left Falkenham down a spot. He just lost another one. Now as he falls down to the number 11 spot, getting passed by Garrett Lowe. And Wilson uh, noticed those last couple of laps. That was about a one and a half second gap. It's now down to under a second. So Wilson uh, starting to flex some muscle here at the Chicago Street Course. Parker White is as close as he's been in a number of laps of trying to get by Bobby Zielinski. So as we come by now, 10 laps to go through the start finish line. We got one heck of a race on our hands, and even Salas just started to make up some ground. He was over six seconds back. It's now down under five seconds for the fourth spot. So if anything were to happen with these top three, if they get to racing hard, if they lose a lot of time, I wouldn't say that either Vicente Salas or Casey Kerwin would be out of the running for this. That not being the case, White able to get a great run here. You can see Zelensky trying to break the draft a little bit earlier than he has been. This is how the playoffs would shake out. White in a great points uh, position right now. And again, Parker White is close enough that he could contend for the regular season championship, which would lock him into the playoffs without a win. The problem is, is that the points leader is right behind him in third, so he's not making up any ground on who's your overall points leader right now. So for Parker White, he's got to be worried about first right now, not second, but trying to get one spot better. Parker White and Steven Wilson for the first time tonight. It's the biggest lead Zelensky's had. And I think Parker White was just really pushing the issue, trying to make something happen. Zelensky has been perfect so far tonight, and all it took was one mistake. White lost about half a second, and without Bobby Zelensky making a major mistake, he can kind of back it off at this point. And I think you're exactly right now. Parker's going to have to try and hang on to second over the driver that leads him, the only driver that leads him in the championship standings in terms of overall points, and Steven Wilson. And Bobby Zelensky takes the white flag. There's one lap to go in the Logitech G45. He just needs to stay clean. Easier said than done on one of the hardest tracks on the circuit for the next two miles and change. For P2, Wilson looks to turn two, doesn't make it happen. Again, you can see a little bit of lap traffic up the road, but should not be a factor in this final lap. Parker White, a second and a half back, would need a miracle to try and make up all that ground on Bobby Zielinski as they head through turns four and five for the final time. It's all about holding off Stephen Wilson just behind him as they head towards turn six. Stephen Wilson uh, already made it back-to-back -back years with a race win when he went earlier this year on the road course at Brands Hatch, looking to go two for two. And in an era of this series where we talk how there are more drivers than ever who could win a road course race, when back a few years ago, it was the Zelenskys, it was the Mitchell DeYoungs at the time who were expected to sweep them in this hyper-competitive era, Bobby Zelensky looks to sweep the road courses on 2024. Final couple of corners, lap traffic, Keegan Leahy up the road, last car on the lead lap is not going to be a factor. And Bobby Zelensky going to double down in 2024. He goes back to back at the Chicago Street Course. And here comes the celebration for Bobby Zelensky, who with his 16th career win has passed Michael Conti and has sole possession of fourth on the all-time series wins list.